Hi class, hello to all my KG1C friends and students and any family that might be watching too. Um, I was thinking, what should we do today? And I'm sitting here with my friend, Frosty Snow Dog, or as I used to also call him, Frosty Snow Bear. And we were thinking it would be a good day I think for a silly book. So I have a very silly book to read to you called Bear in Underwear. And it's about a bear. His name is Bear. And he has friends that are different animals. And it's about what happens when they find some underwear. So we're going to read the story together. And then you're going to help me do a seesaw activity about the story. And then for your own work at home, you're going to listen to another story about Bear, another adventure about him and his friends, and do your own seesaw activity. So let's get started with our story, okay? Bear in underwear. And I see Bear right here. Bear and his friends were playing hide and seek. Beaver was it. Here's Beaver. He says, ready or not, here I come. I'm not moving a whisker. Shh. Mm -hmm. There's Skunk. Glub. <gasps> Cougar hid. Porcupine hid. Bigfoot hid. That's what they call that thing that looks like a monster. Turtle hid. Moose hid. Skunk hid. Rabbit hid and bear hid. They're all hiding. Bear waited and waited. I'm getting hungry. When no one came to find him, Bear decided to head home. There goes Bear on the little road. As Bear jogged, he thought of hamburgers and hot dogs, cupcakes, cookies, and ice cream. And we was thinking about gum. I'm really, really hungry. With his mind thinking about food, Bear did not look in front of him. He tripped and fell. Oof. What's this? Where did it come from? What did he find? Is it a backpack? Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to take this with me. Oh, so he's taking the backpack with him. Oh, he's home. What took so long? Wow, where did you find that cool backpack? Open it. Hmm. I don't know if I want to, says Bear. Open it. Open it. Yeah, come on, let's see what's inside. Hurry up. Bear looks a little nervous. Let's see if Bear opens it. Open it. Bear slowly unzipped the zipper. Come on, hurry up, says friends. Oh, wow, underwear, all different kinds. Try some, try the blue ones, try the striped ones. And Hedgehog just got underwear on his head. Bear put on a pair of blue underwear. Too big. What do you think of these? Too small. He tried on another pair. Too loose. Whoops. Bear tried on everything from the backpack. Too silly. Too girly. Too dirty. Too itchy. Nothing suited him or his bottom. That means they were not just right. Bear was ready to give up, but there was one more pair left. Bear held up the underwear. He put his right leg in and then his left and pulled and tugged. <gasps> the tidy whitey underwear was just right. A perfect fit. Oh, Bear looks happy. <gasps> we need underwear too, say his friends. <gasps> I like this picture. Yay! Totally rad. Sweet. Wow! Awesome! Hooray! Super cool! Yippee! Do they all have underwear now? 
That's pretty silly, because animals don't really wear underwear. Bear stood there with a smile, wide and bright. Bear in underwear looked dynamite. That means he looked super cool. And that is the end. I'm reading this on Epic Books, and there's more books about bear and underwear. You guys are going to listen to Goodnight Underwear later, but first, we're just going to switch to Seesaw, and you're going to help me do a quick activity to remember the story. So you can see here, I, there are some squares that say one, two, three, four, five, six. Over here are pictures from the story. And we have to decide what picture goes first. What happened first in the story? Then what happened second? Then what happened third? So at the beginning of the story, on the very first page, did Bear find the perfect underwear? Oh, wait. No, that happened at the end. That happened at the end. Hmm, what ha let's look at these pictures. Playing hide and go seek, underwear coming out of the backpack, running home, falling over the backpack, or wearing the backpack. Oh, yeah, they were playing hide and go seek at the beginning. So that goes in number one. Then they were playing hide and go seek. Oh, and then Bear wanted to go home. He, no one was finding him. So I'm going to pick this picture. Here he is running home. That goes in the next box. Okay, then let's think about what happened. He's running home, he's running home. Oh yeah, and he tripped over the backpack. That happened next. Okay, because there's no room here, we put the, our next picture in this box. So after he tripped over the backpack, what happened next? Did the underwear fly out or did he take it back to his friends first? You're right, he took it back to his friends first. And then he opened it. So let's look, we put the pictures in order to tell the story. First, the animals were playing hide and go seek. Then Bear got hungry and decided to go home. He was thinking about food and he tripped over a backpack. <gasps> He took the backpack home to his friends and they said to open it, but he wasn't sure. When he opened it, all these cool underwear came out. And finally at the end, he found underwear that fit just right. Thank you for helping me do my seesaw activity and listen to that story. Next, it's going to be your turn to listen to another story about Bear and his friends. And then you're going to do the same thing with pictures from that other book. I hope you liked our silly story. I miss you all very much, and I'm sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.